How to break a KTM engine. wasn't even too tight. Eh? Mm -hmm. Um... Hmm. That's funny. Shouldn't there be something else in there? Pull it out then. Well, I can turn it a bit. It's coming! There it is. So what I would guess how it works. You see the, the two yeah. nodges? Oil gets through there, presses into here, and then presses the barrel out. And you can see an oil channel in the thread on the right hand top side. Oh then I'm fighting. Well I guess I guess well, they get stuck. If you have yeah, if they get stuck and if you have low oil pressure, um it slacks and if the oil gets really hot it slacks as well. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, so it's, it, it, it's a great idea in principle, but in practice, there's too many things that go wrong in this world. Mm hmm. Oh, look at. I have to put get it in quite a lot, I guess. Shall we start the engine? Not <laughs> quite. <laughs> 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 It's one of these easy jobs, but mm. you go wrong in the process of doing it. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Yeah. You can feel that. Really good. Yeah. And then when you got um when you feel the pressure point, then give it another half a turn. Shall we give it a try then? I guess it's the easiest way. You can still hear that. I can hear it. Rev it. Ah, yeah. Again. Sounds good. It doesn't get better. And I'm really tight on it already. Okay, so I guess that's just the valves then. And I've got an oil leak. So, this is how you're supposed to set it now. Try again. Still ticks. It's gone. It does sound like it's wearing a little bit, but it doesn't make a big difference, does it? Well, if it's over tight, it makes a nasty whirring noise. Yes. It's not doing that. Yes. And it's not. It's like a it's like a hissing noise. Mm. And, and it's not it clattering. No, so it's it's about right. Yeah, I think so. It's not clattering, and it's not the the whirring noise, is it? Wearing noise, yep. Doesn't do that. So it should be alright. Yeah, that's tight. Good. Done that. I mean, it's set correctly now, so when I get the new washer, I just replace that, screw it in again, job done. What I'm still a bit worried about is they, they are mentioning um, an O ring, which I didn't see. 
But if the if the copper washer is doing the job, then pfft, why don't you need the O-ring? But then there's not a recess for that ring. No, there wasn't. Let's give it a bit of a test ride and see if everything's fine. Okay, that um, didn't take an hour, did it? No. <laughs> so, das war jetzt alles auf Englisch, aber man hat ja gesehen, was ich gemacht habe. Ich werde es untertiteln, keine Sorge. Ciao.